Back in 2015, we were looking at the overall growth of certain segments of internet traffic and video was the fastest growing segment. And when we were using our consumer oriented communication tools like Instagram and Snapchat, video was hyper prevalent there. But then when we were using our workplace communication tooling, it was like Outlook, email, all that good stuff. And we felt like it was a world apart. To fill that gap, Joe and co-founder Vinay created Loom, an app that lets you easily record your screen and your face before instantly sharing the link via email or message. This functionality enables workers to provide project feedback or walk someone through a proposal without having to set an actual meeting. Unsurprisingly, the company expanded during the pandemic, raising $130 million in May, a deal that values the company at an estimated $1.53 billion, quadrupling their valuation from a year ago. Loom has raised millions from investors including Ashton Kutcher, Instagram's Kevin Systrom, and Figma's Dylan Field. In June of 2016, we released our initial proof of concept. It was a Chrome extension that allowed for very simple video recording and sharing at work. And so we had about two weeks left of runway. We had two weeks in our bank accounts. We don't necessarily come from a lot of money, me and my co-founders, and we had maxed out credit cards at this point. And so part of it was also that we unlocked the Chrome extension and shipped this on Product Hunt thinking that uh, this would be a growth hack. It would be something that would funnel traffic back into our user testing platform. Within the first 72 hours, we ended up having thousands of signups, which was new for us. For you know six to seven months, we were iterating with no hits, nobody taking a leap of faith and working on like our user testing platform. And so when we launched this and we got thousands of hits, we started getting people reaching out with really interesting use cases. One that I always tell people is this guy reached out to me and he's like, hey, there's like green lines on my video, can you help me repair it? I was like, sure, but I have to look at the video in order to know like that the video is repaired, are you okay with that? And when I looked at it, it was this guy with like his little cam bubble and a stock ticker, and the stock ticker was apparently going in the wrong direction because he was screaming at a screen in Portuguese, which I didn't even know that it was Portuguese at the time. You know, I repaired the video and sent it back to him and I was like, hey man, like, you don't need to tell me what's going on in this video, like, that is not up to you, but like, I have to ask, like, what's going on in this video? And he was like, well, me and my friends own a, a fund and we manage billions of dollars of assets, we're out of Brazil, and one of my partners made a very bad decision and I thought your tool was the perfect tool to let him know exactly how, how I felt about it. And a light bulb just kind of went off in my head. It went off in all of our heads. This tool that we thought was going to be a growth hack that would funnel traffic back into our user testing platform ended up being a new way that people were starting to communicate. And use cases are growing beyond the business world. During the pandemic, educators used Loom to create lessons for students to review on their own time. In addition to temporarily dropping pricing for its premium service Loom Pro amidst the COVID-19 pandemic, in March 2020, the company announced that verified teachers and students will receive free, permanent access to the premium version. Loom's greatest challenge now is converting the 12 million users that have joined the platform during lockdown into lifelong users. At the very heart of what we're doing is we're creating a new user behavior at work, which is challenging. It is taking something that is in the consumer landscape, but then how does that map to when do I use it at work? When is it the most powerful and useful? I think that asynchronous is critically important to document as much knowledge as possible to allow everybody to engage as first class citizens, no matter what time they work on or where they're working from, which is at the root level of what's important. And the great thing about Loom is that with the cam bubble, you're putting someone's face right next to their work. And so you're able to instantly get like the personalization of what someone's trying to say. And it is really special, especially when you don't share wall space with your other employees. But people are gonna be changing the way that they, that they work on a fundamental level, right? Like on how they collaborate. Collaboration is gonna look different. Going into a meeting with absolutely no context is gonna be seen as rude. But then on the flip side, what that unlocks is a whole bunch of economic opportunity for people to feel like first-class citizens for the first time ever. There's gonna be a, a really large flattening of economic opportunity around the world for anybody who has a computer and an internet connection. 
And so I, I think that's like an amazing thing. And, and we have a lot of really great stuff to look forward to as like a global human race over the next five to seven years.